Hey friends, exciting stuff happening here today. I am going to show you how to do spaghetti squash in the Instant Pot. So I shared on Instagram a few weeks ago, my mom was visiting and I did two of these big spaghetti squashes and her and I like to use it whenever we have spaghetti as a noodle alternative. Uh, all kinds of fun ways you can eat it. Put a bunch of butter on it, salt and pepper. If you like doing spaghetti squash in your oven or I've also done it in my microwave before, if you have an electric pressure cooker, I think you're also gonna like cooking these bad boys that way too. Also, today's video is sponsored by Thrive Market, which is offering all of my viewers $60 in free organic groceries. Plus, everyone gets free shipping and a 30-day trial. So that's exciting stuff too. Real quick though, before I get to, I've got a box of goodies from them we're gonna open up. I'm gonna go ahead and get these spaghetti squashes going in the Instant Pot, and then I'll open my box of goodies while we wait. It doesn't take too long. All it's a matter of doing is we're gonna cut them open, scoop out the insides, put them in the Instant Pot with one cup of water and set it on manual for 10 minutes. And then we're gonna have perfect spaghetti squash. Now we have the insides open. I just got my pot over here and or my bowl and my spoon to scoop out all the insides. So there's our seeds all scooped out. I fit them in here just like this. I'm gonna add in our one cup of water. I'm also using the steam rack. Now I did two of these large spaghetti squashes last time I did this a few weeks ago. I will pop a picture up here on the screen for you to see. That's from my Instagram account. And you can see how I took the large pieces of spaghetti squash and just sliced them down. And I filled in these gap areas. However, since my mom is not here and it's just me eating this, this will be more than enough spaghetti squash for me and I will save this great big one for another day. So now I'm just gonna put this lid on. I know several of you have asked me again for more of my thoughts between the GoWise brand pressure cooker and this Instant Pot brand electric pressure cooker. One of the viewers recently commented that she was concerned about knowing if her lid was sealed and I told her how the Instant Pot is nice because it has this little this little song this little chime that it sings to you to let you know when your pot is sealed correctly so I'm I'm gonna do that now for you all to hear it and for her to hear that. And the GoWise pressure cooker doesn't have that. It's not quite as intuitive. However, it's a lot bigger. And whenever I went to buy my second electric pressure cooker, I wanted another eight quart instant pot and I just couldn't find one. They were out on Amazon that day. I went with the big GoWise per my friend Ashley from largefamilymanagement.com per her recommendation and I've been loving it too. I think if you're gonna, if you already have an instant pot or if you already have some electric pressure cooking experience, then jumping in with the GoWise, you'll know a lot already about how the pressure cooker works by using other appliances. So there you go. So now we're gonna hear the little, little instant pot song and dance here. Okay, and then I'm gonna seal it. There you go. So it was, then listen when I open it. That's telling me it's open. Okay, so that's saying your lid is on. And now we're gonna turn it this way towards close. And that's telling me it's sealed. I'm going to put it on sealing. And then all I'm gonna do here is do manual for 10 minutes. I must have been doing something. I think I was doing meat in it last time. That's why it was up so high. I was doing frozen ground beef, I believe. Okay, that's all we have to do. So that's gonna do perfect spaghetti squash for us. I'm gonna clean this up. We're gonna open this box and then we'll check on that. Also, whoop, there it goes. Also remember, even though I'm putting it on for 10 minutes, it's gonna take 10 to 15 minutes to build the pressure up. Then it's gonna cook for 10 minutes and then it's gonna release. So this is still gonna be a 30 minute or so process to do this spaghetti squash. But you know, if you do it some of the different ways you can Give it a try in the microwave. I know I've done it uh, like in a glass dish with a cup of water and you put the spaghetti squash face down and you can um, kind of steam it that way. And there's ways to do it in the oven. Lots of ways to do it. Um, so I still think this way is a 
good option, especially if you have that instant pot. Now we're gonna open up this box of goodies for Thrive Market. I know one of the things I ordered in this haul, and I've mentioned them before, and several of you who do like keto or do Trim Healthy Mama or different um, healthy eating options, you'll know about these. They're called the Zero Noodles, but I've had some viewers ask me how to cook them and what to use them for. So I'm pretty sure my Zero Noodles are in this order. And so I'm gonna cook those also along with the spaghetti squash to show you how I do it. Okay. Also, letting you all know about that $60 in free groceries that you can get from Thrive Market. The way that that works is you get a credit of $20 off your first three orders. So every time you order and you spend $49 or more, which it's easy to do with all the good things they have on their site, you get $20 off. So you get $49 worth of products for $30 plus that free shipping and the membership. Here is what I got. Okay, Bone Broth Boost Grass-Fed Collagen Protein. So I thought you all would be proud of me. I was thinking of using this. It says, as a dietary supplement, supplement add two broth bags to six to eight ounces of freshly heated water. Seat for two to four minutes. I was thinking of this for myself um, again, I'll, I'll say the word snack, but I was just thinking that this would be a healthy option for myself just to try. I know I always like broth, so when I was looking for something healthy to do for myself, I could have a cup of broth. Next, we have some almond flour. And then, oh yeah, I love using this instead of soy sauce. When I have it on hand, I'll pull it out of the bag so you can see it. It's just a good soy sauce alternative, and I'll use it in our fried rice and different things I make around here, and I like it's only, I want to say this whole bottle was less than three dollars. Then we have, now this brand, this is why I wanted to try these. This is the actual Thrive Market brand. It was less than two dollars a bag for these, and I know for the actual Zero Noodle brand, it'll be two dollars and fifty cents to even three dollars for like this size seven ounce bag and so I thought these were under two bucks so I got five of them because again I am a noodle lover and sometimes I just have noodles and then sometimes I like noodle alternatives like these so we're gonna give these a try so here you go here is my Thrive Market haul for this go round super super convenient because I don't live close to stores with lots of options. We all know this. That's what I share a lot about on this channel. So it's very convenient to just order some of these specialty items and have them come right to my door. As I've mentioned in other Thrive Market videos, I've been able to get my probiotic that I like to take. I've also been able to get household products and deodorant and other health and beauty things from there also. So here you guys go. This is the bone broth. Just Ooh. very much like tea bags in there. Oh, and you guys will love this. This is hilarious. So I've got Liam and Daniel. They are outside on the deck because we have just a little bit of snow left it's really only all on the deck they are playing out there all bundled up while i'm in here filming and jade and zion have left to go on a three-day three-day trip with a bunch of friends and people we know they're gone excited about that and uh rest of the kids are back with travis i think Naomi's watching Andy Griffith and holding Benjamin while I film this. Anyway, there was just a knock on the door. Now, this is real life mom stuff, okay? There was just a knock on the door, and I had just got done telling Liam a few minutes ago he wanted to come in, and I said, you can come in in a few minutes, let me open this box, because they're going to have winter snowy stuff on. So I'm hearing this knocking. I'm trying to open my uh, bone broth there. This knocking would not stop, and I turn around, and I say, no! Okay, real mom, right? I say, no, quit it for a minute, because that's the behind the scenes. It was a UPS guy delivering my trampoline. So I just hollered no at the UPS man, and now he definitely has to think that, uh, what is this woman hollering at me for? So that's what I get, right? That's what mama gets for trying to film a video. With these Wonder Noodles, I'm getting my drainer out here. Whenever I use these, what I like to do is I take them, I, they're in some kind of packaging water. Let's see, what does it say that it is? Purified water, konjac flour, because they're made out of konjac root. Yeah, so anyway, I, um, I open them and I drain them. I run some warm water on them, and then I boil them just like noodles. And then they always take like some butter and some salt and pepper. So there you go. Similar to, these are like, look like a ra uh, ramen noodle 
consistency. Yeah, they're the spaghetti noodles. And honestly, they smell, it's like a fish smell. It's not necessarily what you would want in a noodle. However, again, the benefit of eating these is that there's no calories or it's, it would go along with a lot of low carb meals. Just if you're trying to do something that's not a noodle, it's an option. Not a perfect option, but an option. And I have eaten them for years. It's a filler. It's a filler that makes you feel like you're having a noodle. I was hoping to do three different types of low carb, sugar free style noodles for you. I was gonna do those zucchini zoodles. If you haven't tried those yet, those are a really good option as well. And we are honestly at the end of, it's been about five weeks since our big mega grocery haul. And so I just don't have any zucchini right now. And I did send Travis to pick up a few things. Totally forgot to put zucchini on the list. So that's it. I have put these in just a small pot. Look at that cute little small pot. I've put it on high. I put some water in there. I'm going to boil them. Then I will salt and pepper and etc. I've got this meat sitting out. Something different going on. And uh, I just set it out not too long ago. So I'm doing a big pot of chili for the family for the weekend. But we have a little bit of spaghetti sauce left. And so I thought I could do that for myself to see. And then back for the spaghetti squash, it's counting down now. So the time, the beeper just went off there. I'm gonna, oh, 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 need to move it here. There we go. That'll get steaming and this is done boiling. Oh, 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 steaming up my camera. Something I like to do. So here is just a little bit, that's actually some sauce from a can. You see, you can eat it just like spaghetti. So I don't know if I sold you on those Wonder Noodles or not, but uh, just being honest, it's a good alternative, no carbs, super healthy fill-in, and having choices and alternatives are always a good thing. So if you need them, you'll find a way to use them. And we are done venting over here. So now I'm just gonna turn it. Whenever it is still under pressure it won't turn so that's helpful also and there we go we're gonna pull them out now and i'll show you what they look like all scraped up and uh similar to the miracle noodles or the zucchini is salt and pepper a little bit of butter like carry cold butter goes a long way with the taste also there's a high water content in these so usually what i do is i'll drain them a couple times just just part of what you deal with right you can see Beautiful spaghetti squash. It's very hot, so that's why I'm just poking at it with my fingers here. But you all can see how it looks on this plate. So I would have half, I would have one of these now with some spaghetti sauce, and I would honestly end up saving the other half for a little later. But the nice thing is I know I can eat all of it that I want and that's always a good feeling. So what is super convenient with these Thrive Market products is more than 70% of the products on their site can't even be found on Amazon. So if there's specialty health related products you're looking for, you can probably find it over on Thrive Market. Now for the deal where you can get up to, it'll be a total of $60 off your groceries plus free shipping, plus a free 30 day trial, just look for the link in the description below click through that and you will be able to take advantage of that offer you don't have to enter a code or anything so that's super convenient you can also filter the categories on thrive market on their website on thrivemarket.com where you can pick paleo or gluten-free or kosher or specific dietary needs that you may have and get the products that go directly to meet those needs so it's super convenient and helpful and i know i'm going to order some more health related products Products from Thrive Market soon. I like getting in my online orders too. Also, give these Wonder Noodles a try, especially if you're looking for a noodle alternative, plus that spaghetti squash. And also, don't forget to try making those zucchini noodles. I've done those before, just like with a potato peeler. You can do them just wide noodles like that. You can also get those zoodle makers to just run your zucchini through to do your zucchinis like that. And all I do is put them in water to boil them just as if they were noodles. Works very similar to those wonder noodles so thank you so much for watching today friends and i'm glad <laughs> i'm glad that uh hopefully the ups man delivers here again the kids are now inside from the snow <sighs> 
it's just been one of those days. But thank you for watching. Bye-bye.